here we are in the company of the people who will be the first graduates of the first new medical school established in Ireland in over a century. It is uh, a wonderful story and a remarkable story, a story of great courage. This place uh, was founded, we know, on the back of one of the most significant reviews of medical education and training ever undertaken in Ireland. And so it's probably the most exciting place um, to be studying medicine. Here's a place with the focus so firmly on the future, uh, on infusing a spirit of freshness, of pioneering, of innovation in medical training. And everybody who came here, everybody who started here in the first year, knowing that they were at the beginning of a piece of history making. And so to all of those who are facing finals in 10 weeks time, all two of you who are here, the rest are all obviously studying. Um, so you maybe want to rush home now. Um, but to all of you, I know that our very good wishes go with you because you will, of course, be the first cohort of ambassadors for the University of Limerick's graduate entry medical school. It was itself part of the historic kingdom of Thomond, where um, the O'Hickita family were physicians to the ruling O'Brien or O'Brien clan. Um, County Clare, where the school is cited, was also, of course, the birthplace of the famous Sir William Brooke O'Shaughnessy, a man who, a great polymath, who made great advances uh, in, as the very first um, to use intravenous fluids at that time to help counteract what was a dreadful uh, cholera epidemic that was sweeping London, and perhaps more controversially, um, and ironically still more controversially, uh, to pioneer the medicinal use of cannabis uh, for pain relief. Um, Irish doctors of the 19th century were also, we know, very quick to adopt groundbreaking new techniques and practices developed elsewhere. In fact, long before the internet was developed or anybody heard of Twitter or blogging, Doctors seem to have, around the world, they seem to have an extraordinary capacity for shifting in and perhaps the most important contribution of these world-renowned figures to Irish medicine, uh, and certainly um, the one which has the most immediate impact on every student who is here today, uh, is the revolutionary new form of medical education, uh, whereby, uh, invented in Ireland, whereby students were instructed at the bedside of the patient. I suppose to us that seems rather obvious. Apparently there were times when it wasn't that obvious. And this type of practical bedside teaching with a focus on the patient, a problem-solving approach, uh, very much you know, resonant of what you're doing. Lee else has been told that they have a very serious neurological disorder. There's a brain cancer or there's a motor neuron disease. All of these things. And when that happens, and it happens every day of the week, every single day of the week, we who are the people on the receiving end, we are so grateful that you are the people across the desks and across the tables. The UL's first graduates and staff will help to write with that long distinguished narrative of Irish medicine. And for the first time, in a few months time, it will include the imprint and the unique ethos of this medical school. I hope between you, that you will be writing the best chapter yet in the history of Irish medicine. You're the first students to have such an opportunity. No one else has ever graduated in medicine from UL. And so you have in front of you an extraordinary blank script to write. Being the people who have this blank sheet of paper to fill out the first, the opening chapters of UL's contribution to the long, long, noble narrative, the proud narrative of Irish med medical education. Gurafadabunshiv, Gunnarian Thalev, for me.